Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Daggerfall Unity. Now last time around we were sort of wrapping up our time in Daggerfall. We had returned here to do a Cartographer's Guild quest, I believe. And I think we still have to return that quest, which is why we're going to be heading back soon uh, to... Yeah, I was heading back soon to the Rothgarian Mountains area. Um, but at the end of our time in Daggerfall, I wanted to stop off at our house and I'd remembered that... I wanted to install the Decorator mod, which is a mod that allows you to customize the interior of your house. So I thought it might be fun to test that mod out this episode. I don't know if that will be the whole episode, because I'm not sure how much time we'll spend using it. But I did end up installing it, and I've taken a brief uh, glance at how it works, but only a brief glance. So <clears throat> you might have to all bear with me as I try and figure out uh, exactly how it works. So I'll press a hotkey, and you'll see that the, the sort of UI for it pops up here. And there's a, a list of a ton of different things that you can mess with and put basically inside of your house. Now, I'm not sure if you can actually get rid of things in your house and replace them. I don't think that you necessarily can. <clears throat> but it seems pretty self-explanatory in terms of how you place thing down, things down. So, for instance, if I wanted to place something, uh, <clears throat> you know, on the table here. Let's just try putting down a, let's see, treasure, a silver goblet. You can see it just it just goes down pretty easily. Uh, and if I press the hotkey again, you'll see it disappears. I have to confirm, basically, that I want it there. Um, so it might be fun to put some stuff down on this table, actually. I'm actually not, not a huge fan of this big potion. It's not that good looking. Uh, the silver goblet looks pretty nice, though. Let's try putting a goblet on there. <clears throat> we can also put a jewel goblet, see how that one looks. Hmm, that one's not, that one's not going down. <clears throat> I wonder if it was going, like, under the table or something. Let's try that again. Let's see. Treasure, silver goblet. Okay, it went down that time. And then you can adjust its position by uh, clicking these arrows, as you can see here. So let's put the silver goblet right there. That looks pretty good. And then you press the center to confirm it. And now if I press slash again, and now it's there. So that's pretty nice. So I think we just have to be pretty sure about our selections before we put them down. I, I imagine there might be a, a way to get rid of them once you put them down, but I'm not entirely sure what that way is. Uh, let's see what the, the uh, jeweled silver goblet looks like. Okay, I assume it's the angle that I'm getting at here, but that's not allowing me to place it down how I want to. Let's try this again. <clears throat> it looks pretty similar. Um, if I press reset, does it get rid of it? Reset. No. There's a way to get rid of it without just cancelling and going back. I'm not sure if there is. Okay. Um, there's also a gold goblet. A gold goblet filled with wine. That looks pretty nice, actually. I kind of like that one. Maybe I'll keep that one. So we have two goblets now. We got this silver goblet and this gold goblet. They're not exactly aligned, which isn't ideal, but maybe we can just fill this table up with things uh, to make it, you know, a busy-looking table. Um, let's see what else there is. Copper goblet. That does not look good at all. Not a fan of the copper goblet. Um, bag on gold pile. That's like loot you'd see in a dungeon. Gold ingot. Let's look at the gold coin. Okay, that looks more like a ring than a gold coin. Um, let me try putting that down again, though. Looked a little bit interesting. Oh, that's not working. Oh. Yeah, it's hard because it's appearing all the way over there. Oh, right, I forgot. I can adjust it like this. Let's see. Uh, let's try the gold coin again. So, kind of reminds me of the Lord of the Rings uh, ring. Uh, I do actually like how it looks, so maybe I'll stick it on the table right here. Ah, uh, okay, that's not what I wanted. It's like hanging off the side of the, the table. I did not... See, when I was looking at it from this angle, it looked like it was on the table, but in fact, it's just hanging off the table. Now, is there a way to remove this? Um, is there a way to get rid of this now? Or is it just stuck there? Let's find out. I'm going to read the text file real quick that it came with. Uh, let's see... It says you have to go to edit mode. Let's see, can I select this object somehow? Oh, that's interesting. I can also sort of look around in this mode by clicking to the sides, like up and down. Um, but how do I get rid of something? Oh, 
do I remove something? You know what? We'll leave this for now, since uh, I don't want to spend the episode just figuring out how to remove figuring out how to remove things. So that is kind of unfortunate that we have this gold coin floating around in our house now. But we got to be more careful when we place things, I guess. Uh, what else would look nice in the house? Let's see what other options there are. <clears throat> so we do have lights. I wonder how some lights would look upon entering the house, like on the wall or something like that. Let's try putting a skull candle. It didn't even appear. I'm not sure what that one looks like. Uh, and it doesn't work sometimes. I feel like the angle that you're at kind of matters for putting things down. Okay. Let's see. Lights. I think the problem maybe is that I have to adjust this. So low, medium, high. Medium is meant to be like on the wall. Low is meant to be on the ground. And high is meant to be on the ceiling. <coughs> Excuse me. Or that, at least that's just my understanding of how it works. Um. Let's see. <clears throat> I'll try looking at the ground since doing it on the wall does not seem to be working out so well. Okay, definitely appear there, but not so clearly. Um, try looking at the ceiling, maybe? Want to put a chandelier up there? Okay, that's not working too well. Hmm. It was working a lot better to put things onto the table here. I'll try again to put something on the wall. Maybe adjusting its location. I can actually come to see where it is. No? Okay. Uh, hmm, we'll try one more time. Oh, it appeared. There it is. Well, this thing's big, though. I don't think I want something that big, actually. Can I see how this looks? I'm trying to look down here. Uh, I can't see it. Okay. It, it's too big anyways, I assume. Uh, let's try... Let's see. <clears throat> let's try putting a... Just a lantern. Put a, put a lantern down. Okay, so you actually can adjust it somewhat well. I'm going to put it a bit higher. That's actually kind of nice looking. That I, that actually, I think, kind of looks nice. Um, just trying to hit it against the wall here. I think that's pretty well against the wall. Let's see how that looks. So, I have to hit a middle button. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, that, that looks nice as you enter the house. That There's that uh, there's lantern, a lantern right there. We could put so, one right here on the other wall, too, to make it symmetrical. I should probably be saving things, too, um, in case we mess up again, like with that gold coin. And again, I'm sure there's a way, I hope there's a way at least to get rid of things once you've, once you've placed them down, but I could not tell you for sure whether that will happen. Or whether we can figure out how to actually do that. Let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, oh, a painting. We could put a painting now for sure. Paintings always look nice. Let's put a, a nice painting upon entering the house right on this wall. Uh, we'll put it on this wall, actually. Let's see. So... So I know I just have to move this around for it to, you know, appear. I'm not sure exactly where I need to move it around. It's not coming out. I'm not seeing it much. I wonder if it's stuck in the wall or something. Okay, that's just not working. So let's try again from a different angle. Let's try backing up a little bit. And put the painting up again. It did not immediately appear. That's okay, though. Still not seeing it. Alright, we'll try a different painting other than painting one. Let's see. Painting two? Not none of these paintings are appearing too well. <coughs> uh, let's try looking on the ground and see if we can get the paintings to come up like that. Damn, I really want to put a painting down, but... They do not seem to be appearing very well. I think I just figured out how to get rid of the gold coin. I just saw something called edit mode. I bet if we go here and we do edit mode, we select this thing. How do we actually select this once we're in edit mode? Hmm. Delete. I want to select the gold coin. I'm trying to target it, but I'm not sure how. Let's see what it says on the 
text document. Click on an object. Okay, I'm meant to be able to click on this somehow, and then that will let me move it, but that's not working too well. Let me try crouching and doing this again. Edit mode. Click. There we go. Okay, I can delete it like that. Yeah, I want to get rid of that. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's very good to know. Now let's figure out how to put the painting on the wall. <laughs> let's see. So, painting one. Come on, where are you? Surely I spawned it out somehow here, but it's not appearing. Um, hmm. Let's try another wall, maybe? Maybe another wall will be more amenable to us putting a painting down? Let's try putting a banner down, I guess. Um, oh, the banner worked. The banner worked somewhat. Not a ton, but a little bit. Uh, I could put it a bit higher. That's a big banner. I don't really want that banner, but the banner sort of worked. Uh, let's try again. Let's figure out how we actually got that banner to come out from hiding. Oh, there's the banner. I can sort of see the edge of it. Okay, there it is. Okay. Wow, that's a big banner. All right, so uh, can I switch the banner around like this? No, okay. Let's try getting a painting and doing the same sort of thing to the painting that we did to the banner. So of trying to raise it up here. I'm just not seeing the painting. It's just not seeming to work. Surely there's a way to get this thing to come out. Let's try standing. Okay, what if we stand like really far back? <clears throat> like here. And we just try spotting the painting right there. Oh, wait. I think I see it. Or the shadow of it. I thought I saw the shadow of it over here. Or somewhere. On the left-hand side, you can sort of see the shadow of the painting, as if I'm sort of bringing it over here. But it's not coming out still. Okay, that was closer, though. That was closer to success. Uh, we'll try painting six, I guess. Where is it? Alright, I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. This is this just does not... The paintings, you just do not want to appear. Okay. Let's try putting something else down. Let's try... Um, let's see. What else is there to put down? A telescope. Now, that sounds pretty cool. A telescope would be nice. Now, I think something in here is due, because there's just nothing in this room. So, like, a little a table or something that we could put some interesting things on, that would be good, right? So, let's see what we can get. Um, a camel. I can put a camel in here? Now, that's interesting. I'm not going to be doing that, but that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so... I need, like, just a, a container, I guess it would be. A... A container... Dresser. I want something a bit bigger than a dresser. A wardrobe is... The, the wardrobe actually looks nice in here, but I think I'd rather have a table and put stuff on top of it. Um, so I'm just trying to find a table, an option for a table that I can put down. <clears throat> I can also put down statues, which is pretty cool. A statue might be something nice to put down in another room, but... For now, let's see if we can find a table. Common. Common could cover table, right? Here we go. Different tables, so... Let's just bring this towards us. That's a bit too big. Table 4, what's that one look like? That's also a bit too big. Table 5. Too big. Table 6. Table 6 could be okay. Let's see how it looks real quick. Uh, I'm going to actually save that and just see what it looks like. Uh, I still think it's a little bit too wide. I think maybe more of a square would be better. So let's edit that one. And get this. Let's see if we, can, if we grabbed it. Yeah, and let's delete that one. Sorry for a quick edit in the video there, but as you can see, I actually managed to get a painting out. Uh, I had to take a quick break in the recording, so I decided to pause the recording. When I came back, I messed with the paintings a little bit more before I resumed recording. And as you can see, I was able to actually get a painting up. So I decided I'd keep it there, and we could move it, you know, using the edit feature that I was showing before. Um, so before we keep messing with that, let's go back to what we were doing, which was... Trying to get a table here. Um, so, let's try table one. 
table one. If I put it low on the ground, let's see. Could that potentially work? For our purposes. Now remember, I'm, I'm just wanting to have something here where we can store stuff, basically. Let's see how... Um, it's kind of hard to see how it looks um, without leaving it there. Let's try leaving it there. We'll check table two, actually, first. Just to see what it looks like. Yeah, that's going to be too wide. So table one looks like it might be our best bet. We'll put that just on the ground. And a little bit closer to us. We can even put a chair in front of it. Let's just see how that looks. Um... The door still kind of doesn't work too well with it, in the sense that it looks like it's going through it. Maybe if I push it back more. Let's try pushing it back more, so. Okay, that's a little bit better. That is definitely better. Let's try saving that. Now I could put some things on here. I don't like the fact that it seems slightly angled, but I don't know how to fix that exactly. Is there a way to change the angling of it? Let's see. If I just... No, that, that kind of just tilts it. I, I just want to change its angle slightly. Oh, that, that works, actually. Hmm. It's hard to get it even. I guess this is the closest we're going to get to even. So, we have a table there now, so let's try putting some things on it. So, let's look at the treasure section here. And see, actually, I think there was something else I wanted to look at. Like swords or something? Where was that? A telescope. We'll see what that looks like. That looks pretty cool, actually, but I don't think it belongs in here. It's not certainly wouldn't fit on the table, so we're not going to use that one. Um, let's see what else, though. Finger. <laughs> Holy crap, that is a massive... That's like a giant's finger right there, for sure. <clears throat> um, but we're not like a serial killer, so we're not going to put that up. Um, let's see what else there is. I don't want fishes. Swords, maybe. I also thought this was funny. A baby. Now, this would be good uh, once they give get a mod that lets you get a wife uh, or a husband, and then you can you know, roleplay getting a baby. That would be useful for that purpose, but obviously that mod is not out yet. I have heard that that mod is in the workings, though, or at least there was a forum post about it. I have no idea what the status on it is. Um, <clears throat> how about a sword, though? Okay, I want a sword that can lie on this table. Is such a thing possible? Let's find out. No? Okay, that sword 2 also is like that. What about sword 3? Holy crap. What in the world is this? That's not a sword, it's like a wall. Well, I don't want that. Uh, crossbow. Oh my god, it's like a full... Okay, no, obviously I don't want that. Um, arrow? What's arrow look like? I can't even see the arrow, okay. So it doesn't appear that these miscellaneous items are going very well on this table. There's a diamond. Oh, uh, the diamond could go on the table, I guess. But uh, it's not the most good-looking diamond I've ever seen. Suit of armor. <clears throat> Actually, we could stick a suit of armor in here. That could look cool. Let's see how. We'll, let's see what the suit of armor looks like. The suit of armor actually. Uh, oh, I'm getting stuck on the the painting. I actually don't like what the suit of armor looks like. It looks a little bit strange looking. So I'm not going to keep that. Uh, delete it. Yes. Okay. I guess we're going back to treasure, unless there's anything else in here. Decoration? What even is that? Let's see what this is. Um, <clears throat> not too good looking decoration. I can tell you that for certain. Uh, I want to delete this. There we go. Okay. I was worried there. I wouldn't be able to get rid of it. So, um, alchemy. I guess this could be an alchemy table. We could put some alchemy stuff on. Uh, this bottle isn't very interesting. Flask with yellow liquid. Um, there's a lot of stuff. Diamonds. We could put some jewels on here. This diamond doesn't look very good, though. Um, alchemy. What else is there? Amber. Eh. I think I prefer the treasure. <clears throat> like... Silver tiara. Let's see what that looks like. I mean, that looks better just instantly it just looks better let's see if it actually sits there on the table though it will actually sit there on the table um so we could just like fill this table with treasure that would be i think pretty cool um like a with a goblet too maybe put this lower save that 
Let's put some more stuff on there. Uh, how about a pile of gold? Pile of gold. What else can I put on there? Treasure. Um, let's look what the second page has in store for us. Gem 4. Let's see what gem 4 is. Gem 4. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. Let's try putting that on there. Uh, gem 4 actually is, is not really sticking on the table the way I'd like it to, unless it's meant to stand up. It looks kind of odd standing up, though, like as if it shouldn't really be uh, in the air. So let's try getting rid of that one. Let's see what else they have. <clears throat> so, um, how about gem one? Let's just see what gem one looks like. Okay. Gem doesn't look too good. How about... I wonder what the the pile of gold with gems lo gem looks like. That actually looks a bit better than the current pile of gold that we have. So, let's select this one. I'm trying to select it. It's not working too well. Okay, let's try this again. Uh... Edit. Select the pile of gold, please. There we go. We'll delete the pile of gold. And we're going to replace it with the pile of gold with the gems. Actually, that looks better in the back, I think. So we'll see. We'll leave it right there. We'll see how that looks. That looks pretty nice. We can put something in the front here. Uh, how about... <clears throat> um, just a set of gems. What about that? Nah, I'm not really liking how that one looks. Um... A sword lying across would be so cool, but I guess that's not an option, unfortunately. Um, a lot of this is just gold, and we already have gold, so you'd think gems would be good, but I'm not a fan of how all of it... Well, this gem actually doesn't look too bad. This gem fits a little bit better. Um, I feel like this would look better in the back, though. Let's try how it looks right there. Let's see. It's still, like, suspended in there, which is not what we want, so we're going to have to get rid of that. Okay. Hmm, what can we put in the front? What else is there? I guess we could just put another goblet since we're not really finding anything, or a gold ingot or something. Actually, gold ing ingot looks pretty good. It matches the theme of what's going on here. Let's try that. That doesn't look too bad at all. And I think some lighting in here would look nice. It lo looks kind of uh, a little bit too dark in here for me. So let's put a light in here. Um... Can we put a, a chandelier? What's that look like? The chandelier looks actually not too bad, but it's just... It's too big to stick in this little closet, so... We're gonna get rid of that. And get a more basic lighting setup in here. How about a... I want to see what the skull candle looks like, but... I think it's too small or something, because it's not really coming out and presenting itself to us too clearly. Um, how about... Lantern 1? All right, we already know what that looks like. <clears throat> um, and it does work. We could check out uh, the lantern with a chain. Now, that actually makes sense. Uh, put it up. Oh, that did not work. I got rid of it by doing that. I'm actually back up a little bit. I feel like that will give us a better view of this. Let's check what, what's here, too. Um, skull Tiki tor Torch. That, that, that looks nice, but it's not going to work in this room. I think we just do lantern with a chain. Um... That's a bit too... Hmm. That's a bit too low, though. Too close to the... Here, so maybe we don't want a chain or we want a short chain. Um, that could work right there like that. Um, let's see what the other lantern looks like with a chain. It doesn't really give light, which is what we kind of want this to be doing. Uh, so let's do a short chain. Let's try putting it up. Let's just try putting it a bit to the back and see how this looks. Oh no, I didn't... Damn, I accidentally didn't save it. I did not want to do that. Uh, so medium, and we're going to put it a bit more to the back here. Let's see how this looks. Uh, that looks pretty nice, actually. I like that. This is a nice little room now. It's actually populated with something, which is, uh, which is good. Um, I wonder if we could actually make it so you could... I wonder if you can make it so that this is like a container... Uh, let's see. What happens if I check container and press save? Can I... Oh, I can store things here now. Perfect. 
That is what I wanted. So if I click on this, now we can store things as if we're storing our treasure on this little table. So that looks much better. Now let's get this uh, this painting into its proper location if we can actually do it. I think this is part of the problem with the painting is that you can only see it if you're at the exact right angle. Which means when we spawn it in, we have to adjust it properly to be able to actually see it. So um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and grab this if we can. And we're going to push it all the way over there first of all. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna save the game too, since we've made some edits. 378. I'm gonna see. Okay, I want to be able to always be looking at this when I'm editing it, so I don't lose track of it. I'm gonna grab this again, and oh, not that way. I'm gonna push you over here now. And now, let's grab it again. We're gonna push it down here. Can I actually orient this? Let me see, I want to orient this so it goes against the wall. That's actually working kind of how I want it to work. But I need it to just even itself out a bit here. Let's see, if we put it against the wall, that that's not quite how I want it. Um, how do we get this evened out? It's going to be a little bit difficult here. Maybe due to the way that we spawned it in. Hmm. Am I actually going to be able to accomplish this? Oh. And that just got rid of it, me doing that. Well, the painting is just... Okay, well, it's, it's back here now. Uh, uh, I think we're going to have to get rid of this one. I think it's just too hard to mess with this thing. I, I think that we need to figure out a way to just get it straight on the wall, which doesn't seem to have been working for us so far. Uh, we'll try once more. Now that I actually know that... It's sort of inverse of what you think it is when you spawn the, the painting in. So when I'm pushing it to the right, it's actually getting pushed to the left. I don't know where the painting is, but uh, it has not appeared for us. We'll try once more. We'll, we'll try doing it here. Let's see. Wall. Painting 2. Let's try. Okay, I can actually see it moving a little bit with a shadow on the right wall here. I'm afraid to... Oh my god, it's big, I think seems really big. Where is this thing? I can see its shadow, but it's not appearing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save the game, and then we'll just spawn it in and see if we can see it by changing our angling. Let's see. So let's try just spawning it in. We'll see where it seems to have appeared. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. So it's just invisible to us. Let's see if we can now edit it over to where we want it to be. That's a, a fine looking painting, I would say. Yeah, that, that's correct, but I want it to be all the way angled the other direction. Which I seem to have accomplished in a bit of a roundabout way. If I could even this out a little bit, that'd be great. I just want to press it against this wall. A bit higher. Oh, that got rid of it. Well, that, that's just lovely. Okay, we'll try again. Oh, I think snap might actually. So if you saw there's a... Well, let's see if I can show you here. There's this little setting called snap. I wonder if that could be the key to it. Let's see what it says in a text file about that. Um... Oh, no, it doesn't. It will just remember your last uh, selection of low, medium, or high. So that doesn't really help too much. Okay. Let's try this again. I want it to be here. And I want to orient it against the wall. And now I want to push it back towards the wall. Uh, and maybe a little bit higher here. I want to put it up more, but I'm not sure how to get up more without pressing high, medium, or low, which messed it up last time. Um, how do I get it up? Okay, well, let's try saving it here, because that's, a, you know, in the right direction. We're almost there. If we could just get it up a little bit more, that would be perfect. Just go up. Not towards me. Up. High. Okay, medium. High. High was better than medium. Where'd it go? No. All right, let's try that again. So edit. Grab this, put it high. Okay, let's see what 
That's too high, though. Oh, it's so close to actually, like, working. It's so close. It just needs to be up a little bit higher. It needs to be here rather than here, because this is just an awkward spot for it. Um. Damn. Why are these paintings so hard to use? This is just so difficult. Okay, well, let's see what that... Let's, let's, let's try grabbing it, putting it up high, and then saving it. See what that looks like. That's just too high. That is much too high. What if I put it low now? Okay, what if I put it medium? Okay, no. Edit, grab it, put it at a medium. No? Okay. Well, you know what? I'll leave this here for now. I'll try messing with it with it later. Clearly, this is just not gonna gonna work. It's not having it, so we're gonna leave it there and uh, we'll just we'll just leave it be for the time being. And let's see about putting something in here. Something on this uh, on this little pedestal could work, I guess. Like a book would be perfect on there. Are there are there books? I wonder. Alchemy. How about a book? Can I put down a book? A book. There's a book. Put it a little bit lower. Okay, that did not work. Uh, let's see. Oh. It kind of, like, glitches out when you try uh, messing around with a, with where exactly it's meant to be. What if I look down a little bit more? Let's see. Library. Book. Green. Okay, that's not working. Uh, Travis again. Book. Green. Oh, it's so close to being where I want it, but it's just going to hover a little bit above this thing in kind of an awkward fashion. But if I could just get it to be a little bit angled just a little bit differently, that would fix our problems, but it does not seem to want to do that. Damn. This is, I would say, quite unfortunate. What if I sort of flip it around? Okay, that's not going to work. Oh, uh, I wish it was easier to just change it change its position up and down. Maybe there's something I'm missing here. Okay, what if I try just looking a little bit lower? Spawning in the, the book, where is it? Where'd it go? Medium? No? Okay. Try once more. Book gets here. Put it down. Don't know where it went. Maybe it went into the floor when we did that. Oh, it was up there actually. Okay. That's not. That's going to be too difficult to do. So forget that. Um, it's a, it's a little bit dark in this section of the house as well. Honestly, it could use some light. I wonder if a maybe putting a lantern right here would work. And also, I I imagine maybe we actually can edit stuff that already exists in the house. Let's find out. Like, what if I try and grab this and, and edit it? Grab this. Let's see. No, I can't grab it. Okay, so I don't think I can edit things that already exist in the house. But this section needs a little bit more light, too, so maybe putting a lantern up here would make it look a little bit better. Maybe above this, uh, this set of... Let's see, put it up a bit higher. Okay, that did not work. I'll try standing back a little bit when I do this this time. Hi. There we go. I'm just gonna back it up a bit. And that looks pretty good, I would say. Let's put it right there and see how that looks. That looks good. I like that. Sort of makes these bookshelves a little bit more visible, which is nice. <clears throat> uh, and then maybe a statue could go in here. Maybe like in the corner over here. A statue right here, maybe. Let's see what the statues look like. Let's see if we can get a good looking one. I wish I could see their face. Maybe if I stand a little bit higher, I can see the face a little bit better. Okay. So we got this, we got this. We got this statue, this one. I don't like the gray ones. They're a little bit odd looking. That one's alright. That one's the same person. Okay, same person in a different color. We've already seen this guy. Um, there's Lady Brisena. That's, uh, interesting. Let's see, what else do we have here? That's the same statue, but sort of broken down in a different color. How many statues are there? A lot of them are actually the same guy, the same, in, in a different color. I like this one. Uh, I'm gonna put this one. Let's see how this one looks in the corner here. This is definitely the most interesting one, I would say. Uh, let's save that and see how it looks. Oh, okay, what did I do, actually? Wait, hold on. Okay, I did not know I can move things around using my keys like this. Um, that is quite quite odd. Let, let's go ahead and get out, though. Does it, does it look good there, though, or would it look better in another place? I think it looks alright there. 
That's a good spot for it, I think. It's so weird how statues will follow you, like follow your gaze as you walk around in Daggerfall. Definitely strange, but I need to test out this new thing I just saw, which is that, let me see, let me just try putting a lantern down. Okay, so I can actually move it around. I wonder if I can move its uh, vertical axis. So I can move its horizontal axis by pressing W, A, S, and D, which is really useful. Um, let's see. Shift rotates around the Z axis, upper diagonal. Okay, so if I bring out a lantern, let's try this again. So if I bring out a lantern, and I use the arrows. Okay, arrows don't seem to be doing anything. Shift is meant to rotate it somehow, but I I'm not seeing how that's meant to rotate it. Um, <clears throat> shift up and shift down arrows move the objects up and down. Okay, let's try this. So, lantern. Shift up. Shift up. Shift up does not do anything, I'm, I'm afraid to say mod author, as far as I can tell. Okay, well, if I could figure out how to move things up and down, I could figure out how to how to get this painting aligned, and I could figure out how to put a book on this little pedestal here. So maybe I'll leave that for next time if I can mess around and figure out how that works. For the time being, let's go upstairs and see if any adjustments need to be made. I mean, it's, it's pretty boring up here already. Um, I think I need, need some light in here. Maybe I could put a chandelier or something. The chandelier is just so, so big, but, and this house kind of doesn't have t very tall roofs, so that's a problem. Um, what other kind of light could I put here? Oh, this, this looks interesting. Let me put this down. Uh, that's kind of interesting looking. I kind of like the look of that. Um, let's try seeing how this one looks here. Okay, that looks good. Uh, I quite like that. that. That's a pretty cool looking uh, light source. I feel like that'd look even better if... How about we try putting a tiki torch right next to it. On the ground here on this side. And then we put another tiki torch on the ground this side. See how that looks. That looks pretty good. That looks quite nice, I think. And we got a bench here. A painting would look so good above this bench if we could get a painting, but we're just not going to be able to do it. I don't know why I'm even trying again. I just really want the painting to work because that just looks so nice in a house. But yeah, the painting just doesn't want to cooperate. I'm going to save the game, actually. Let's see. 840. Although I wonder, now that I know that I can use my... W, A, S, and B to make the painting move around a lot faster if that will get me to be able to see it at all, which, no, it's not. And it also, for some reason, makes me keep looking down, even though I don't mean to be looking down. Which is kind of strange. Let me go ahead and cancel this. Okay. So that's a nice start. In here, we could use a light, I guess? Like a lantern or something? Um, but we'll leave that alone for now. That could use a little bit of improvement in that room. A uh, painting could go here, too, and a book could go right there if I could actually figure out how to make it move up and down vertically. Okay, I quickly looked back at a text document. I think I'm gonna, I have an idea for how to make things move up and down. I think when he says shift up arrow, he means shift and then this arrow. Let's try that. So let's try putting down a... where is it? Let's see. A book. And pressing shift. Okay, that... okay, we figured it out. Okay, that's good. We're, we're making we're making progress here. We're figuring out how this works. So this this does actually could actually work if I can just angle this right. It's not exactly how I'd like it to look though. It needs to be a little bit higher, but this is like above too much. Damn it! It's not it's not the 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 adjustment is just not fine enough. Not fine enough to uh, to work there. Hmm. Let's try it downstairs. We could try it on the painting for sure. Uh, I'm gonna try and put a book here for sure. Book green, okay. So bring this towards us a little bit. We need to angle it properly. It needs to sort of be angled down a little bit. It's just angled the wrong way. We need to like flip it around entirely, I think. It actually did not work as well as I wanted it to. How am I going to get this thing angled the other direction? Uh, 
Um, let's see. If I just flip it this way. It's still just angled, not, not how I want it to be angled. Um... Oh, that, that almost works. That almost looks good, but not quite. I guess this would be a good opportunity to try with a snap key. Okay, the snap key just didn't work at all. Right. Well, we can try it for this painting, because this painting is already angled right. So let's let's try grabbing this painting. And then... Okay, there we go. So... If we can just... I think that that is how we want it, right? I think that's how we want it. And actually, it's against the wall, so we've actually managed to put this painting up, which uh, I'm, I'm proud of that, since that painting was real finicky, did not want to cooperate with us. By the way, I apologize, but this is basically just an episode of me editing the house. I know this may not be the most exciting, but I did want to showcase this, showcase this mod at least at some point. So um, we're just going to have this one episode dedicated to it, unless you all enjoy watching this, in which case I'll maybe do another where we edit the other side of our house. Okay. Right, so that's all done in there. I really want to put a book on here, but I'm having trouble doing it, so we'll leave that alone for now. Uh, and I like the configuration of this, these torches. Actually, one... I'm just being OCD now, but this, I think, should be a little bit more over that, that direction. So let's grab this one. And just move it over once more like that. Oh, okay, right. I didn't save. So grab this, move it over once, save it. And that's a bit better. Okay. Huh, now is there a way I can, let's try, let's try saving the game here real quick, 8.45, or 41, excuse me. What I'm going to try is just spawning in, um, let's just try painting one. Just going to spawn it in, oh, I did not mean to do that, I'm going to back up actually, I'm going to try and grab painting one, I'm going to save it, and then see if it appears. There it is, okay. So this is painting one. Now painting one looks pretty cool. I think it would look great above that bench if we could get it over there. So let's try and grab this. And we're just going to move it slowly but surely over in the direction it wants to be. I'm going to grab it right here. I'm gonna, I need to orient this thing correctly. And then move it over, over to the bench and save it. Okay, we're almost there now. Oh, okay, so I need to grab it again. First of all, we're going to reorient it correctly. And now back it up against this wall. Now I'm going to do shift up and just place it very nicely right here. And I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks about right. Let's try saving that, see how that looks. Uh, it's not precisely how I'd like it to be. It's a little bit too tilted. Let's grab it, and... I need to sort of tilt it. I'm still not getting how to tilt it. In... Okay, I think that actually worked. I think that worked for tilting it. Um, it needs to be here, but it needs to just be slightly out. I wish there was a way to more precisely... pull it out of the wall without making it float. Because right now it's sort of hovering, and we don't want it to hover, we want it to be more plastered against the wall. Is there a way to easily do that? Because here it, 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 it's basically against the wall, but this section's just having a bit of a problem. Oh. Just trying to see if I, uh, oh, I did not mean to do that. If I do that, then I feel like, let's try to see how this one looks, I guess. Okay, that actually looks okay. It, it seems like it's slightly tilted out towards us, but it doesn't look terrible. I think just a slight adjustment, one slight adjustment. If I can just uh, push it back into the wall slightly here. Uh, on the top side, that's what I mean. That's the opposite of what I want to do. Um, let's just adjust its positioning too, to be right above. Oh, I did not mean to do that at all. I wanted to put it up. Let's try saving it right here, see how that looks. That does look pretty nice. It's not perfect, it's it's a little bit coming out of the wall, but uh, I'm not going to complain too much, even though that isn't ideal. We'll leave that there for now, but that's not perfect, but uh, it's not terrible. I think maybe now that i figured out how to tilt things a little bit better, I can try putting the book down again. Dare I say that I may actually be able to figure out how to do this? Because I can actually tilt this direction now, I just have to hold shift and I figured out how to do it. Let's see. So, okay. Oh, 
I'm going to save this for now. Let me get a little bit closer here. And just grab onto it. So I'm going to put it down once more. And now... I need to... It needs to be tilted a little bit more this direction. And then... Let's see. That almost works. I feel like we're almost there. Uh, I wonder how this looks, though. See, that's obviously too high. Let's just see how this looks. Uh, it's a l Okay, so if I just tilted it up, just very slightly tilted it up, let's see if I can successfully do that here. Like that. But then it's a little bit too... Let's see. Let's try Let's try seeing how this looks. Let's see. Uh, it's, it needs to be tilted up, but if I tilt it up and it looks like it's sticking out of the... It looks like it's sticking into this uh, little pedestal here too much. Let's see. This is what I'm talking about. It looks like it's sticking in there a little bit, but let's see how that looks. Nah, just not working. It's just difficult. Alright, we'll try doing this another time. I'm going to delete that for now. Okay. So let's try and wrap this up by going into the bedroom. And it's, it's definitely looking boring in here. It would look great if it was a big painting across there, for instance. Maybe we can get a... a I think the third painting was really big. Let, let's save the game, actually, before we do this, though. 8.42. I believe there was one really, really big painting, and I would like to get that up if I could. What's this painting? Let's see. Painting 2. Okay, painting 2 did not appear. I don't know where it is, but uh, it is not here. So I'm going to go ahead and load the save. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm going to stand over here, actually, just to make the paintings more likely to appear here. I'm trying to pull up painting two. Does it appear anywhere? Anywhere? No, okay, I'm not seeing it. All right. Let's try standing over here. Let's try pulling up painting six. Does that make it appear? No, okay. Oh, right, I forgot to save it. That's why it's not appearing. Okay, I'm stupid, right. So what I need to do is pull up painting two, then save, and now it should actually come up. Okay, that's painting two. I don't really want that one. I think there's a much bigger one. This is the one we have downstairs. I want to delete that, yep. Yeah. Uh, what about painting one? What does that one look like? So if you're behind us, okay. That's the one we have up here. So let's try painting three now. Uh, let's see, painting three. What does that one look like? Okay, that one's bigger. And that one's pretty good looking, actually. I, I like that one quite a lot. Um, that one could actually fit on this wall, too. Uh, so that's one to consider, but for now we're going to get rid of it. I want to see all the paintings first. So let's look at painting four now. Painting four is also quite nice, but I don't think it's quite big enough to warrant going on this wall. But it could certainly go somewhere else at some point. That's for sure. Um, okay, next painting. Painting five. What does painting five look like? Painting 5 is tiny, so it doesn't belong on this big wall here in the bedroom. So we're going to get rid of that. And how about painting 6, the last one? I thought that was like a massive painting, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, save that. Okay, painting 6 is... Uh, wow, painting 6 is, is absolutely tiny. It's barely even painting. It's more... Well, I guess it is technically a painting, but uh, it's, it's a very small painting. So it looks like painting 3 was the best one, right? I think I'm not mistaken about that. Let's see. Yeah, painting three is going to be the best one to go in the bedroom, so I'm going to go ahead and see if we can push this up against the wall here. I'm going to need to... Oop, I did not mean to do that. Um, I'm going to need to go ahead and flip this around. Yep, yep. Okay, and push it up against the wall. And push it over here. Let's see. Okay, so I think it's good over there. I'm going to save that and then go edit it from the other side here. So it's looking pretty good already. Just needs a few adjustments to be more pressed up against that wall. So, uh, just, I wish it was a way to more subtly tilt this thing the way I want it to go, but it's kind of hard to do that. So I definitely can't push it up against the wall anymore. And that's not working too well. Uh, let's see. I think this is about the closest we're going to get. So I think we need to... Oop, wait, I want to push it up against the wall here. We need to just sort of adjust its positioning here a little bit, up and down, to make it look 
a bit better. Let's just see how that looks right there. Uh, I would say that looks fairly nice. And it actually is pretty pressed up against the wall, so that's that's actually not too bad. Um, I think that's not too bad. Now, maybe uh, some light in here would be would be good as well. So maybe I could put lanterns on both sides of this or something to make light the light in here a little bit nicer. Um, see, uh, uh, a chandelier would look nice in here because it's the bedroom, but of course... Well, maybe a normal chandelier. What's that one look like? Not the fancy one. Could that fit in here? Actually, this fits in here pretty well. So I think a chandelier could look good. Let's let's throw the chandelier in here and see what that, that looks like. That looks nice, but I feel like it'd make more sense like in the middle of the room, like on the wall. So let's try doing that. Uh, let's try putting the chandelier. I guess maybe over here. Let's see how that looks. I'm trying to think of where this would look. I'm obviously not an interior designer, as you can tell. Um, but I like the chandelier. I don't know where it would fit. It obviously wouldn't fit right here, though, because then it would cover the painting. So that would look kind of odd. So maybe in the corner here is its proper place. Um, and then I also wanted to check out what a... Let's see, where was it? Wall. The banners. I want to see what some of these banners look like. Because a, a banner could look quite nice in here as well. Maybe against the wall, where would the banner go? I'm trying to think of where to put it. Maybe there? Or maybe here? Like on the foot of the bed? Maybe like on top of the bed? Let's see. What about right there? Would it actually fit here? Let's find out. Okay, this banner is definitely too long. Holy crap, how long is this banner? It just keeps going. I need a banner that's a little bit less long. Although, let me see, what if I just press this up against the bed? Okay, now it's just too long. The banners are too long, I think, to fit in here. Um, unless there's a, a shorter one, but it seems like they're all sort of the same length. Let's see. Yeah, they're all very, 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 very long, so they don't seem to fit. That was unfortunate. Because um, even if we had this, for instance, it would just go above the roof. So that's not going to work. So we're going to get rid of that. Okay, so forget the banners. Let's try orienting the chandelier in a nicer uh, manner. I'm trying to think if a chandelier would work in, in a room like this now. I think it still might be a bit too big. Um, maybe the chandelier just by the by the painting works nicest. Maybe two chandeliers on either side or something, so it's symmetrical. Let's try that. Um, again, I do apologize for my lack of interior design skills here, but uh, you know that that is how it is. Let's try putting it here. Um, so if we had one chandelier here, and then we had another chandelier here. How's that look? Uh, this chandelier obviously needs to be a little bit closer to the, the painting here. If you drop to the ground, completely exhausted, you awaken one hour later. Ah, so actually, hold on. I'm going to save the game real quick. So we have no fatigue. So we need to rest... Uh, just two hours to get some fatigue back to continue uh, messing with our house. I guess uh, doing all this designing has been tiring our character out. Let's see how this looks. Now this one's closer than this one. I'm going to close the door here and see how this looks. Um, I'm going to push this one a little bit more to the left. I'm not sure how I like this yet. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Grab this, push it to the left, save it. I think it needs to go to the left of like one or two more actually. So again, I'm going to grab it and push it over, save it. So I think I like how this looks, but I'm not sure yet, so I'm going to leave that. Uh, you all can judge me for my uh, poor design skills as well. Uh, but we'll leave it like that for now. I guess another place I could put the, well, I could put the chandeliers above the beds, or like, that would look nice, but it wouldn't make any sense. You wouldn't want a chandelier above your bed, you know, that's, that's lit, that obviously would be bad. Um, but I'll leave things like this for now. Let's now let's have a quick look before we end things off about everything else we could potentially put in here. Maybe a pet dog. You know what I mean? A, a pet dog that would be cool, right? We could adopt a dog. Um, where would the dog be hanging out? I guess the dog would probably be hanging out like just uh, just in one of these main rooms, probably waiting for us. It could be on the bench or something waiting for us, right? Let's see if we can actually get him on the bench. Let's find out. 
dog one. That is cute. You actually can't orient the dog on its axis too well. Let's see how that looks. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so we have a pet dog now. That's a very good uh, accompaniment to the home. And what else do they have in bio? They have plants, which would potentially look nice in the house too. Yeah, this, this, these, these plants do look quite nice. Um, there's a lot of different plants, actually. Now, where could we put the plant is a, a, a good question. So, where would a plant look nice? Maybe on top of the shelf here, we could put one plant. Maybe a hanging plant could go up here. Because I know there's some hanging plants, they say, right here. Just got to pull it out a bit. Oh, that's not working. Okay, let me back up a little bit here and try again. Um, bio plant hanging. Okay. So it needs to be high because it's going to be hanging. And we can just put it right above the shelf there. I think that looks pretty nice, actually. I like that. Um, actually, I think that's fine right there as it is. Okay, that's good looking. And then maybe up here. A plant could belong somewhere here, too. Um, this looks a little, bit, a little bit bare. Maybe we need, like, a table or something. A table could even go right here, like a, a short little table could go here uh, and have a plant on it or something. Although that would block the view of that, so maybe a table could go up against there. Um, let's see. How about... Small cabinet. A small cabinet with a, a plant on top. That would work. It does need... It's sort of tilted the wrong way, though. I guess it's because we're standing at an angle. We need to stand straight on and that will make it appear correctly. That's better. Okay, so I want it to be on the ground. I just want it to be pressed up against the wall here. Let's try saving that. Okay, that looks fine. It's still kind of dark in here, despite these uh, chandeliers, I think, because they actually don't generate any light, which makes me want to put another lantern up. But of course, then the lantern's going to look strange. I wonder... Okay, this is this is sort of an interesting idea, right? What if we put a lantern, and we actually stick it behind the wall so that you can't see it, but it's still emitting light? I wonder if that sort of... That tricky uh, way of making the chandeliers look as if they're emitting that light would work. Uh, I should actually save the game before I do this, so we're gonna do that. Eight forty-four. Let's try attempting this little uh, idea of mine. So I'm gonna back it up. I'm gonna just put it right there. That kind of works. It actually kind of works. It looks like it's lighting the area behind the wall, but it actually kind of works. And it makes it look a bit better in here. So I'm going to actually do that for this as well. I'm going to put a lantern up. And I'm just going to put it up a little bit higher here. And then stick it behind the wall so it's not visible. But it's still providing some light. And now it looks like the chandeliers are actually lighting things. So I am a fan of that. I don't think... Uh, you can't see it. Okay, nice. And I'm going to put a little plant on top of our cabinet here. So, bio. A seagull. You can even put a seagull. What would a seagull be doing in-house? <laughs> Actually, that looks like it could be a pet bird, even though it's technically meant to be a seagull. Um, what's the second dog look like? I didn't even look at the second dog. Oh, this one looks this one looks kind of mad. Yeah, I definitely like the other dog better. Um, got some vines. Logs. That could be good by a... F okay, I was going to say that could be good by a fireplace, but not this amount of logs. Okay, so we just want a plant now. That plant looks interesting. Let's check this one out. Have a plant three. Plant four. I guess a potted plant is going to make more sense. So let's try it for potted plants here. That's one. That's another. That's another. That's a pretty simple one. That makes sense with this. I like this one too. Uh, let's try putting just using this one. I'm going to just pop that right on there. See how that looks. That, lo that looks nice. I like that. Yeah, that, that, that that's uh, good looking. Okay. So I've actually had quite a lot of fun with this mod. I... You know, it took a little bit of getting used to, but we warmed up to it, and I think I'm pretty good at using it now to some degree. Yeah, this is this is still bothering me a bit. Maybe I can try and fix that. Um, but I think we've gotten a lot better at using it. Now, if I could just figure out how to put a book on here, that would look even better. Um, but this was quite a fun episode. Now, we still have the other side of our house. Remember, our house has two parts. So it's got this part right here. I'm going to save the game before I go out. I hope it doesn't delete anything. I need my hard work here. Let's find out. Yes, I know mods can going to be glitchy, so I don't want to leave the house and then, you know, re-enter and have it all be gone. Let's find out. No, it's all still here. Perfect. Uh, we got our dog and everything. Okay. So we have this side of a house, of course, that is nice and decorated now. And we also have um, this side of a house right here on the right. And as you can see, none of this is decorated yet. So this is another potential place we could come in to 
add some decorations and just make it look a bit better in here. Um, the, the, the bedroom actually on this side is a little bit more populated, so it requires less improvement, but still. Um, we could come in here and edit this side. So let me let me know. You know, I don't know how interesting this episode was to watch. I'm sure it was sort of, sort of boring for some of you to just watch me mess around with a decorator mod, but maybe some of you enjoyed it. So do let me know what you think about doing some more of this mod. I could also alternatively just head back to the Rothgarian Mountains and leave this for a later episode. Maybe take a break from doing the decorations. Um, as I said, I want to do a main quest, I think, soon. So I think we want to go return that Cartographer's Guild quest and then maybe pick up a main quest, obviously, in... The four regions over here, I forgot which which uh, region the next main quest will be in, but it will be in one of these regions, of course. Um, so that's the plan for next episode, depending on what I feel like and what you all suggest or recommend doing. But I did have a lot of fun having this little detour and showcasing this decorator mod, um, which I quite enjoy and I definitely recommend. And apparently you can use it to not only decorate your house, but your boat as well. So if we end up buying a boat at some point, we can use the mod to decorate that too. Um, I also wanted to mention some other f new video ideas that I had, but since we're sort of at the end of the episode, I think I'll leave that for next time around, um, because I do have some things in the works. I know I, have, I haven't been as active posting these episodes lately, and I do apologize for that, but I do have some other stuff in the works, and I guess I will talk about that with you all next time, too. So thank you all for watching. I do so much appreciate your support over time, and I will see you all in the next episode.